Welcome. Today we are diving into Inmap, a powerful network mapping tool. Whether you are scanning your home Wi-Fi or public networks like those at Starbucks or airport, Inmap can detect devices and find potential entry points. Plus, if someone with unauthorized access to your network, Inmap can help you spot them too. We'll be using in this tutorial VirtualBox, which is hosting um, the machines that I'm using. First, we have Cal Linux, and then we have OWASP web broken applications. And Cal Linux is going to be the place where I'm going to use Nmap, and OWASP is going to be the target machine. And I already configured the system so that both live in the same network now let's go to the OWASP machine because this is um, going to be the target machine i'm just going to press enter just to see the screen because it was a slip now if we if we type if config we will see the network information on the machine. What we need is this IP address to use inside the Cal Linux machine. Now we got the IP address, it's 10.0.2.15. So if we go to Firefox and try to call this IP address, so it's 10. Dot zero dot two dot fifteen. Now we are on the page. So now we can see that this is the IP address of the machine. And now let's get the IP address of the Kalinux to see if they are both on the same network. If don't pick. And now you can see the machine here is 15 and the Cal Linux machine got number five. If you are familiar with IP addresses terminology, you would know you would know what does this mean. Now let's move to running in map. We can run in map by going to the start menu and searching for in map. Or we can just find it under vulnerability analysis you can see it, it's there and we can also go to the terminal and run in map and you see we got now some information on the terminal and it's just explaining the basic usage of in map so usage in map we have a parameter what kind of scan we want to do. Is it TCP or other scans? And we have here options. And at the end, we have the target. So this is the shortest explanation on how we use Enmap. And here we have some target specifications, some host discovery option, and some scanning techniques, port specification, and a lot of useful information after we just typed in. At the bottom, we have a couple of examples and they are pointing to the inmap.org. You can scan inmap.org, but you can't exaggerate it. Like you can run a couple of scans on inmap.org. It's just like for a couple of hundreds, maybe testing. So don't overuse it. That's actually the reason why I have this kind of small lab on my computer with virtual box. Before we continue, if the terminal is too scary for you, maybe you can use the other tool uh, which has an interface. It's called ZenMap. You can download it and use it. I'm just going to Google it for you. So this is ZenMap, which has interface. You can use it if you are not familiar with the terminal or if it's too much for you. But believe me, it's better to use the terminal. It's very clear and easy to use it. And if you want to pursue a career in cybersecurity, it's better to stick to the terminal because there are a lot of tools in cybersecurity field with just terminal access. They don't have interface. 
Now let's use the first example. Now it's working and is it is scanning. And as you can see, we have a lot of information um, here coming as an answer because we used an option, the A, which means it's an aggressive scan. So we got now a lot of information. We can use this information and in other tools to target the machine. So this is now an active scan. An active scan is interacting with the host machine or with the target. So we are now sending packets. We are sending requests to the machine. So it's now an active scan. There is also another tool. I'm not sure if you are familiar with the man command in Linux. And you can also type man and then in map, which is going to show you the whole manual of in map. In, and this is like kind of the documentation. It's explaining everything. Yeah, you can check it and see like a detailed explanation of the command terminology, how it works, and everything about in map. Now, if you want, to quit, you need just to press Q so and press H for help or Q to quit. I pressed on Q and now we closed the manual. All of that was just general information about Nmap. Now let's get into type of scans. I'm going to explore seven scans in this video and the rest I'm going to leave it to you. The first scan that we are going to do is the basic scan. So we are just going to type in map and then after typing in map we need the ip address or even the domain name for example in that case in this case it's scanme.inmap.org that's what we tested already but now i'm gonna use the OWASP machine ip address so it was 10.0.2 15 and this is going to be our basic scan which is going to perform which is going to perform host discovery port scanning and os detection if possible let's type enter and now this is the answer or this is the response of basic scan so we have 991 closed tcp ports or connection refused and we have these open ports and having like 80 or 80 open means that the server is hosting a website or there is a website living there we have also ssh port open we have https and we can use them to target the machine for example we can go to metasploit framework and then search for these um, services that are running over these ports and try to exploit them now let's move to the second scan which is ping scan this command sends icmp echo request to the specified ip range or host to determine if they are online so now we are going to try it we are going to try to send an icmp Equal request to a range of IP addresses to see if the hosts are up and running. We're going to target as usual the OWASP machine. First, we need a we need to type in map and then is key. And then we need to type the IP address and the range. The terminal is suggesting the command because I tested it already to see if it's working. I'm going to press enter now. And as you see, it started scanning. And now we have the result. So Nmap says that the host, this host is up and running. And then we have number five, which is up and running. And we have number 15, which is up and running. And then here we have the summary and how many IP addresses. I'm curious about this IP address because I don't have any machine that's running on the system. I don't know where it's coming from. So I'm just going to try to type it. 
no result. I think I need to inspect it to see why it's saying it's running because I have just two machines. One is the Car Linux, which is number five, the one I'm using, and the other one is number 15, which is the OWASP machine. Now let's move to the third scan, which is port scan. And in this scan, we are going to discover which port is open and running. And through this scan, we can also discover what kind of services are running on that system. And we can do it using nmap as usual with dash, key small, and then maybe you can check like certain type of ports. Like now, let's check port 80 and port 443 to see if they are running. And we need now the IP address. So now we got the report, the host is up and the ports that we checked are open. And as you see, we have also the services. Port 80 is for HTTP and port 443 is open and it's used for HTTPS. We can also target all TCP ports by using an, another command. Let's test it in nmap p the IP address. As you see, this is the result. These ports are not shown, so it's, it's 65,526. And the, these are open. And in general, um, we have 65,535 ports. So these are closed and these nine are open. Now let's move to the fourth scan, which is the TCP SYN scan. It's a steel scan, so it's not that noisy and it's one of the most common and used scans it works as following this scan send sin packets to the target ports and analyze the response to determine if the port is open closed or filtered let's test test it and see how it works again we need inmap and dash s small and is capital letter and then the IP address. So this is one of the scans that need root access. So you need to be the admin to access them. So I'm gonna type use it now with sudo. It's going to ask for sudo password. Now this is the response of the steel scan, the TCP SYN scan. Now let's move to the fifth scan, which is a TCP connect scan. And in this scan, And this scan performs a full TCP connection to each port to determine if it's open, closed, or filtered. It's more aggressive and may trigger security alarms. Because if they have a, a good configured network, they will discover your scan and this might get you in trouble. So please just use it on your own networks. And this is the same um, like the one before. But in this scan, we are just going to change the capital S to capital T and type enter. And as you see, this is the response of it. Now let's move to the sixth um, scan, which is the UDP port scan. This command scans UDP ports on the target. UDP scans are usually slower and less reliable than TCP scans due to the connection nature of UDP. 
again, if you're familiar with networks, you would know what's the difference between UDP and TCP. So TCP is more reliable. UDP is faster, but it's not that reliable. Some information might get lost on the way. And again, it's going to be the same. We are just going to change the T to U. The T stands, the U is going to stand for UDP. And now we are going to press on enter. As you see, the others were done in less than a second, but this one is taking a long time. It's taking too long, so I'm going to stop it. Now let's move to the last scan the seventh one which is going to be service version detection this is going to detect the version of services running on open ports so in map dash s b v and then the target And comparing the result that we got with the other result, you can see it's way more detailed than the others. So if you see, we got here just open SSH, but here we got open SSH 5.3 P1 Debian 3.0, which is giving us more information about it. We can now go to the internet and maybe search for this version and see if it has backdoors, bugs, or anything on it to make, to exploit them and to use them. That was all about the scans. Um, I think there is something else. We can use also InMap to enumerate websites, for example, but not directly in map we need to use the nse which is in map scripting engine which expands um, the use of in map to more um, options it's also well documented uh, on in map website you can go for it or you can just type help or here to check them i'm not gonna get into in map scripting engine because i think it's gonna be a topic for another video that was all for today. If you have a question, please leave a comment and don't forget to like. And subscribe.